Okay, jumping into this crash course, so we're going to do primitive types in this tutorial. So a character is a single letter, or single anything really, so that can be a character as well. Or even, even that can be a character, right? So a single, I'll say a single character, because it's what it's called, it's a character. A string is a collection of characters in a row. Um... You could also use, if you really wanted to, you could use an array of characters to form a string, but then you'd have to do some really weird fancy stuff to get it to actually appear. So in the end, you're left with using string because it's the easy way to do it. Um, an integer is a whole number without decimal places, and you'll be very used to that. A short is like an integer apart from it uses up less, it has less memory allocated to it. So an integer has a certain amount of memory allocated to it. A short has less memory, so you can actually only do smaller numbers in it. Um, it's useful for when you have arrays of numbers that aren't very big, uh, and you want to save resources and memory. So a long is a very big whole number um, when you need more than what the integer can give you. A double is a decimal place a number, so you have a number of points after it, so you could have a lot, a lot of points after it. Um, doubles are used in currency and that kind of stuff, so they're very accurate. A float is like a double, but it's shorter, just like with a short. So it's got less abilities to do decimal places. Um, so you'd use it in arrays and that kind of thing to save memory. And calculations and all that are usually... Um, if you have to do very fast calculations, like loads and loads of times, then you'd want to use a float instead of a double. A boolean is a true or false variable. So it's either true or false. Um, if you didn't want to use a boolean, you could use an integer or a, a short that's either 0 or 1. It has the same effect, but boolean is an easier way to do it because you can literally set it to true or false. And that is it for the primitive types. And next one we'll be going through is keywords, I believe.